Hello friends, in this video, we'll talk about basics of financial statements in less than 10 minutes. So first, what are the financial statements? Friends, financial statements are the formal records of the company's financial activities. Think of them as a report card for the business. They provide a snapshot of company's financial health, performance and cash position. The three main financial statements are income statement, balance sheet and cash flow statement. And guys, each of these statements tells a different part of the financial story. So let's explore them one by one. First, income statement. Friends, income statement, also called profit and loss account statement, shows company's revenue, expenses and profit over the period of time, typically a quarter or a year. Here, the basic structure of the income statement is, the first line item in the income statement is revenue or sales. Which, is, which represents money earned from selling products or services. Then comes cost of goods sold, which is also called COGS, which is direct cost of producing goods and services. Gross profit, which is revenue minus cost of goods sold. After which all the indirect operating expenses like rent, salaries, marketing expenses, etc. are recorded. After deducting these indirect expenses, we get operating profit, which is gross profit minus all the indirect operating expenses. Remember, these are the operating expenses which are related to the operations. Then other non-operating items like you know interest expenses, taxes, when we adjust them, then we are left with the net income. So we can say net income is equal to revenue minus all the expenses, whether operating or non-operating. So friends, income statement answers the question, is the company profitable? It shows performance over the period of time. It doesn't tell us about the balances of assets and liabilities or how much cash business actually generated from these operating and non-operating activities. So let's look at quick example of a company's income statement. So let's say company earned a revenue of $5 lakh in a year. Now cost of goods sold is say $3 lakh and $1 lakh is operating expenses and $20,000 is the taxes what company is supposed to pay on its total profits. So the net income of the company would be 80,000, which you can see from the, you know, uh, example, 5 lakh minus your operating expenses, minus non-operating expenses, minus taxes. So what you're left with is the net income. Now friends, let's understand this structure of the income statement with a quick example. So let's assume 5 lakh is the revenue of the company, minus 3 lakh is the cost of goods sold. So we are left with a gross profit of 2 lakh. From this 2 lakh of gross profit, suppose 1 lakh is my operating expenses. So we are left with the operating profit of 1 lakh. From there, suppose 20,000 is my taxes on my total profit. So we are left with the net income of $80,000. Now friends, the second important statement in the company's financial statement is balance sheet. While the income statement shows the performance over the period of time, the balance sheet is a snapshot of what company owns and what it owes at a specific point of time. So the balance sheet follows this fundamental equation, assets equal to liabilities plus shareholders equity. So assets what company owns, cash, inventories, equipments, plant, building, etc. Liabilities, what company owes, loans, accounts, payable, etc. And shareholders equity, the net value belonging to the shareholders. Now let's understand what assets typically include. So assets are typically divided into current assets, which can be converted into cash within a year. Say cash, account receivables, inventories, etc. So these are the short term, quick assets, right? Non-current assets, longer term assets, say equipment, plant, building, etc. So these are the long term assets which cannot be converted into cash immediately, right? Then guys, we have liabilities. So liabilities can again be divided into current liabilities which are due within one year, say account payable, short term debt, etc. And non-current liabilities, say long term obligations, loans, bonds and etc. Which company is supposed to pay over the period of time, not immediately. Shareholders equity. French shareholders equity include paid in capital, money invested by the shareholders when they started the business, right? Or maybe over the period of time, what originally you invested in the business. Then retained earnings. So we add retained earnings, which is accumulated profit, which is not distributed as a dividend over the period of time. So shareholders equity summation of capital, what you invested initially, plus what profit you have earned and not distributed as a dividend in the business. Friends, another important thing, the balance sheet must always balance, hence the name is. So if the company has 1 million in assets, it must have exactly 1 million in the combined of liabilities and equity. Now let's look at the third important statement in the company's financial statement, cash flow statements. Friends, the cash flow statement tracks how much cash in and out of the business. 
it explains the change in the cash over the period of time which is divided into three key important activities one cash from the operating activities so friends cash from the operating activities measures how much cash business is generated from its core operations right by selling goods and services etc now the second is cash from investing activities so here we measure how much cash company has generated or invested in its investing activities so it includes purchase of property plant and equipment maybe buying investments maybe selling investments etc so all investing activity related cash will be captured here then the third important activity is cash from financing activities so cash from financing activity defines how much company has generated cash or paid cash over the period of time through its financing activity say loan taken or repaid interest paid dividend paid or maybe you have issued some stocks or repurchased stocks from the equity holders so friends cash flow statement helps answer important question is the company generating enough cash to sustain operations and growth a company can be profitable on paper which which is shown by the income statement but still have a cash flow problem if they cannot collect the payment quickly to from the customers now friends how these statements are connected so these three statements are interconnected some of the examples of interconnection between statements are say so net income from the income statement flows into retained earnings of the balance sheet depreciation expenses in the income statement goes into cash flow statement and added back in the cash from operating activities because there is no actual cash outflow from depreciation expenses so when you purchase inventory it is shown in the balance sheet as the inventory balance right so these three statements are interconnected there is a close connection between three these three statements and there should be a proper connection between you have to balance these statements properly otherwise they will not tally so friends we can say understanding these connections between the financial statements of the company help you to paint a proper financial health of the company now friends let's understand key financial ratios and how these ratios will help you to understand the company's financial positions friends financial statements becomes more powerful when we analyze them using ratios profitability ratios like profit margins gross profit and operating profit margins they will help you to understand you know the profitability of the business how profitable the business is liquidity ratios like current ratios asset test ratios and all they will help you to understand the financial health of the business cash position of the business right efficiency ratios like asset turnover ratios all these ratios they will help you to understand efficiency of the business so friends we can say these ratios help to compare companies and track performance of the company over the period of time so friends to sum up i can say the income statement shows profitability of the business the balance sheet shows what business owes and what it own and the third statement cash flow statement tells you the cash movement in the business right what actually cash generated by the business and how efficiently it was able to repay its liabilities right guys so i hope this video would help you to understand basic connection be between these three statements structure of these three statements and their relevance in the business thank you